Welcome to another episode of Crash Landing. But as you saw, I was going around the area and I was uh, putting more of these glowstone nooks. Um, mostly so that way I can leave and uh, come back to this area anytime I want to. Like, I don't have to worry about the mobs being, like, right outside my door. Um, so that's a, that's a big, big boost. But another thing was, is because I want to build a mob spawner. Um, main issue is because I need bones, lots and lots of bones, um, a lot of materials, uh, so what we're going to do is, um, let's see, first I want to make myself a chunk loader, um, let's grab some ender pearls and the books, uh, I made some gravel, so we have, oh wow, we got diamonds, perfect, alright, so, uh, I'll get to the red velvet cake in a second, chunk loader, right there um, simple one um, I really don't want to use up all my diamonds uh, right now but I do need an enchantment table for later so I might as well just get it out of the way um, so now we're going to have our chunk loader I don't know why that didn't uh, auto do there but right there um, now I could do a spot loader because they're a lot better um, in a sense but um, I'm thinking just kind of keeping the 
uh, the chunk loader kind of maybe like right around here let's see show lasers um, all right so it's gonna keep the farm going and it's going to keep uh, trying to see um, maybe one more chunk Because, see, the problem is that's not showing the lasers uh, where I want to show the lasers. There we go. That looks like... Okay, that's perfect. That's going to cover the entire base. Let's go ahead and hide the lasers. Um, let's get some more water. I have been working on my water, guys, so I do have a ton of water. Um, this dirt to uh, to water thing is perfect. Um, as you can see, we I did get a lot more leaves. Um... This method is awesome. I don't have to worry about putting the leaves back in. Um, just look at all the water we have, guys. Um, oh, that's what, what, this is what I was, was, was going to build. Um, I also needed a golden chest. No, gold chest. Um, iron to gold. Okay, so I can do that. Um, one iron. Boop, just like that. And I think you just shift. There we go. Now I hold a little bit more water. Um, let's go ahead and grab this water out of here. Throw it in here. I am trying. I want to get a diamond chest by the time uh, uh, everything is said and done. But we do have a ton of water. It's actually insane the amount of water we have. All right. So next, for the red velvet cake, I realized the red velvet cake is a meal compared to this light meal, which is my apple pie. And um, so what it takes is it does take flour, so we do need our crops here. Uh, sugar cane takes sugar. Um, what I did was I made, I got soybeans, and I made soy plants. Um, so, and I also made this presser here, which is pretty simple. Press four, um, oops, uh, there we go. It just takes iron and some pistons. Um, so you just take this, you toss your soybeans in here. And uh, now the cool thing about soybeans is that in Pam's Harvest Craft, or hunger overhaul as it's called um, here um, is uh, this can be used for anything so I'm gonna go ahead and take that so this soy milk is a replacement for milk this is a replacement for anything and so is this um, there's a light meal and then it goes and now you're wondering why would I take a light meal and go to a snack well I'll show you because we're gonna go over here I got a bunch of roses so that fills up the snack Fills that up. Now the reason why you need silken and fern is because you can't have uh, silken for both. Um, I know it's kind of weird, but as you can see, the red velvet stacks beautifully. Um, so now we have 21 meals. Uh, I did add in a mod called Auto Food, or Auto Feeder. Uh, so I just put in all the food that I don't normally make anything with, and it automatically feeds me um, when I'm near it. Over there is just uh, making gravel and cobblestone. Um, so aside from the grinder, what I think we actually need to do first is we need to, um, uh, what is it called? We need to get working. Uh, do I have any iron It's just chilling anywhere? I probably don't. Um, I really have no iron ingots. Oh, well, I do have iron, so I might as well toss the iron in here. I'll just throw three in there. I don't know how much steps you're going to take. Um, I do need one ingot, one stick. Well, I need two sticks, actually. There we go. Um, like this, like this. Go. Got our iron hammer. And now we're going to work on getting our tinker table first. Um, so what we need to do is we're going to take... All of our crumbling, seared everything. Um, it's a crack seared brick. I don't know if that's the same, but uh, pretty much you put this down and you break it with a hammer and it gives you back the seared bricks. Um, this is actually a really cool way to make you work for getting Tinker's Construct without like uh, having grout or anything um, be your main thing. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, actually, need to run to the restroom really fast. Um, but when I come back, all of the seared brick should be done. Okay, so everything's set up. Um, I already I broke down some of the scorched brick. I'm not really sure use for crafting or throw. 
Why would you throw this? Um, what's it used for? You. Um, well, obviously it's used for this. But I don't know what this is used for. Anywho. Let's go ahead and get all the materials we need for our tinker table. And let's see here. Drains. Table. Basin. Seared. The only thing I'm seeing that we're going to need... We only have two drains, so we're going to need another uh, faucet. So, one, two, three, and we're going to need a brain. Awesome. So, uh, let me just throw this one in here somewhere. There we go. Um, I, damn, I really wish I didn't put my farm there because I kind of just like filter backwards, but oh well. Uh, what's done's done. Mmm. You know, I'm <laughs> literally, I'm going to make my uh, my smeltery up here. It's literally the most out of the way thing. And I think it's going to uh, work uh, for the, the best way for us. Um, let's go ahead. Just get as much brick as we can. There we go. Kind of hoping, like say if I do this that like it's not just open here ah oh, crap <sighs> mm. well actually no that's not a bad thing because then I can access it from inside but I don't I don't know if smelteries cause heat is the problem um, oh boy because I don't want my entire inside base to be a, a, a hot box you know what I mean so Oh, such a tough decision. I, I, I think I'm going to make it over here. Um, as cool as it would be to have it up there, I just think that... Um, hang on, let me look up. If, if it doesn't cause heat, I'll put it up there. Just give me a second. Okay, it definitely causes heat, but I don't know if it's enough to worry about it. Uh, oops, not mean to break you. I'm sorry. Um, it's such a tough decision. Um, oh, really? I can't believe we just did that. Okay. What I'm thinking is maybe I can make it more towards this side. So that way I can leave one open and say, oh, okay, I got the dust. So I can look up here and smelt it. Perfect. I really don't have to do too much. But then, of course, I'll start to come up here and um, uh, make it work. So I I'm thinking I'm just going to put it over here. It just doesn't seem... Uh, necessary to cause a headache for that uh, piece um, I also don't want to do it too close over there because it does cause heat uh, so one two three and I'm actually going to replace this wall with a tinker's construct wall you're probably like well why would you do that you already have the dust wall well I might as well save as much space as I can right there's no reason to uh, exert the amount of space that we have so, fill this up. Oops, did not mean to place you there. Uh, thank you. Alright. Now, some of you guys are probably like, Dude, that was the biggest waste. I can't believe you just did that. You are a raffle copter. Um, but, well, more reinforced. Perfect. But I just think it'll uh, help out in the long run. Um... Let's see there, there. Okay, so let's put the brain. Let's actually put it right here. So we'll put the smeltery brain there. Let's put our seared tank here. And now let's put our drains over here. Uh, so like this like that that should activate it perfect next we're going to need these two clear um, let's hit up F7 make sure things are working good still okay and uh, like that Ooh, actually no because I don't have the liquid stuff and I don't really feel like dealing with it so that there that there so we have our casting and our well, we, well they're both casting whatever forget you I know what I'm talking about So 
So obviously what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack these up first. It is the easiest way to do this without um, messing anything up. Uh, two, three, one, two. And then um, later on we'll worry about putting more there. Uh, so first we need to start getting lava now. Uh, which, uh, actually what I should do is I'll bring this with me. Um, so that way I don't overheat too much when I'm uh, actually grabbing said lava. There's our bucket. Alright. And right here. I, I thought that was going to like start filling with cobblestone or something. Look at that. Perfect. Just endless lava. Nope. Bad. I'm trying to make me overheat. What's wrong with you? I'll take that. And our sear tank should still have lava in it. Perfect. Um, I guess it costs 50 just to even get it starting. Interesting. Um, okay, so F7. Um, okay, things can actually spawn there. Let's climb up here because I broke that nook. I don't want things starting to spawn anywhere, so. Everything seems to be looking okay. Um, I do want to ensure that nothing can spawn, so I'll put that one right there. Alright, so we have ourselves a nasty looking busted old smelter. Um, next, let's go ahead and make one of these. Um, caution contents under pressure. I'm not really sure what to do with these. Uh, let's see, you scorched drain duct. How do I actually make these? Like, what's the literal crafting recipe for it? I don't even know what this is for, to be honest with you. Um, I'm assuming it's kind of just like this. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Um, let's get what we can do. I don't think these... Yeah, these are structure blocks. I don't need to actually break those down. So let's see if it's uh, what I'm thinking. Um, so... How do I want to do this? Maybe leave a space? No, I don't want to leave a space in between. So, one, two, three. So, this is what's going to go here. Because I'm thinking this is how it works. I'm, I'm not 100%, guys. Never used this before. But if it's from uh, Tinker's Construct, it, I'm assuming it works the exact same way as the actual Tinker stuff. So... active I, I i couldn't tell you either way um the main component of the deep tank uh does that go there i am so confused um let me look this up uh -huh. we finally got it to work it had to be smaller um this is by far the most confusing uh, setup I've ever really had. Um, does this really take that long? Um, I guess we just have to wait. Because I want to see, because I heard this triples or compared to just doubling it in the smeltery, but um, oh well. Throw all of our stuff back in here. Um, not even worry about it right now. Okay, so what is next on the agenda? Um. Oh, good stretch, good stretch. <sighs> Probably building a um a thing. How are we doing on our food? Our food is looking actually pretty good. I like it. Um. I'll probably wait until daytime, and then we're going to hit up another beautiful fast forward to montage of me making a um, a, a grinder. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully it doesn't kill me. Yeah.
broken by the words that you say The voice that carries them has kept me astray Too soon to act on it, can we ever be? That all depends on what you're feeling from me Show you all the way I think our mob grinder is now complete. It's working really well. Um, you see all the mobs in here. I'm kind of nervous. Um, if you uh, never seen Sky Factory, uh, these mobs, some of the creepers will sometimes explode. It's just a weird glitch. Hoping it doesn't happen, but uh, let's see how this goes. Don't want to be in too close. So just kind of go in and out. Ooh, and that's what I was waiting for. Ooh, hello, Ender Creeper. Wow, that was not cool. Um, I'm gonna blame that on the Ender Creeper, the fact that that Ender Creeper is able to uh, pretty much teleport. That was uh, highly unexpected. Um, very weird, though, is that none of the. Huh. That is actually very strange. Because if you look at it, nothing blew up. And I know a Creeper blew up in there. Um. As you guys can see, uh, things can go wrong very fast, um, but uh, it looks like it's working. I like it. 
Uh, I gotta find a way to uh, hopefully get rid of these uh, dumb spiders. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be this episode. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, of course. If you're new, subscribe. We always enjoy a new addition to the Arca Army. And I will check you guys later. Love you all. Peace. Yeah.